Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, my name is Alex. Today we're gonna to talk about five Parfums de Marley fragrances that I've got here in sample form that I wanted to discuss with you. Are they worth the hype? Are they worth the price tag? Should you try them out? Should you sample them? We'll talk about it, stay tuned. Guys, welcome back. So I got five fragrances from the House of Parfum de Marley. These five are going to be very popular. If you have any Parfum de Marley, you're going to know these five. Okay. So first and foremost, we're going to spray them on a piece of toilet paper, which has been a really big plus for me because I don't have any strips here and the toilet paper tends to kind of burn off the alcohol quick and I just get left with a lot more of the fragrance quicker. That's at least what I think. First and foremost, the one we're gonna do today, first one we're gonna do is Percival. And Percival comes in that beautiful blue bottle, which I will put next to me right here. This is the carded sample it came with. Got this down in Portland at a place called it Bellini's Perfumery. It's really nice stuff. This right here is, it has been compared to Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce. And where I do see some of that being possible, I don't really get that fierce thing entirely. Let's go ahead and spray it. Give it a second and let's talk about it. So it's bright, it's full of synthetics, very loud. It's kind of blue in a way that it's mass appealing. Is it a statement maker? Yes. It is a statement maker, but to me, you can get something better for less price. It's not so unique that people are gonna kind of wonder what's going on. So if compliments are a big deal for you, I would pass on Percival. Um, I personally won't get a, a bottle of Percival because of that reason. It's not super special to me, enough to purchase. It's pretty, it's light, it's effervescent, it's full. Like I said before, synthetics, and everyone knows that. Especially with Abercrombie Fitch, Fierce is very synthetic, but it had that beautiful thing to it. This is kind of smells similar, but it's not. It's not similar in that aspect. It's pretty, it's nice. I would not go buy a bottle personally, a Percival by Performance of Marley. I just, I, I wouldn't waste the money on it. There's a lot of other clones out there that can get the job done. So on to the next one. All right, guys, so the next Parfum de Marley we're talking about today is the one, the only, Greenlee. And now Greenlee, this sample right here, I got almost empty from a trade. It's, it was like half full when I got it. I've only worn this one time, really, a full wear. It's got the translucent or transparent green bottle right here. It's gorgeous. It's one of the three freshies that they made recently in the last few years. Before I smelled this fragrance, I expected it to be a pine green, mess of green and i'm not a massive fan of green uh it's not my first choice to grab it's not my first choice to think about a fragrance i'm more of a blue aquatic ozonic sweet kind of guy versus a green fragrance so greenly for me before i spray this was something i wouldn't really go for but once i read the notes after getting the sample i was kind of like what have i been missing my whole life and that's where I wanted to discuss with you guys. Wow, whoa. So I'm getting some green, I'm getting a lot of apple and woods. It is fresh and there is an underlining thing of like a pine tree. This reminds me of green apple, eating a green apple outside going to find a Christmas tree and it's kind of chilly outside. It smells like that. It smells like Christmas trees, apple and woods. It's pretty. Would I buy it over Percival? Yes, I would definitely purchase Greenlee over Percival. It's pretty, it's fresh, it's loud, it's a freshy. All the things you want in a freshie. And that Greenlee by Perfumes de Marley. Let's move on to the next ones. Next couple ones are gonna be kind of a little bit thicker. Next up on the PDM top five samples I've got is Herod. Herod's a beautiful all black bottle. It's gorgeous. It's very sweet and tobacco-y. 
vanilla-y. I noticed that a lot of those dark black bottles that PDM carries have almost the same DNA, that, that spicy apple thing. I feel like there's a lot of apple fruitiness to these fragrances and they're not as dark as they may seem in the bottle. This guy is pretty though, it's very pretty. Uh, Herod I think is different in a way that, yeah. This sweet thing, this sweet thing whipping my nose. Vanilla, tobacco, and some spices. It's very perfume to Marley, you guys. If you've never tried it, this house has a very signature kind of DNA at the base of a lot of these fragrances. And to me, it's the Carlisle, Herod, and gosh, there's one more, um, not, not Wajon, but one other one that is just, yeah, maybe it was Wajon in the black bottle right here too. Um, very similar, all very similar facets to me. Similar note breakdown, it feels like. Woods, boozy, very boozy. I could definitely see that being someone's best friend. If you do like boozy fragrances, this right here is gonna be a good option for you from PDM. It's a statement maker in a way that it's got a huge mass appeal following. Um, very, very pretty. Would I buy a full bus, a full size bottle? No, no, I would not. I would not purchase a full size bottle for myself as it's not really unique enough to kind of, it doesn't steal my heart, you know? The sample I've got sounds good, smells good, but I wouldn't purchase a full size. Let's talk about the last two. A second from the last, and this one is the one that everyone talks about in the fragrance community. Top five list, top 20 list, top 10 list, top three best date night fragrance list. And I will be 100% with you guys. We're talking about Leighton by Perfumes de Marley today. And uh, I am not really a fan. Not in a way that I hate it, not like that. Just in a way where I have so many fragrances, over 150, 160 bottles, I would not reach for Leighton. I would not reach for it. It's it's just, it's too apple it's too medicinal, it's too, spiced up with the apple it just smells like it smells too much like dessert and i'm not i'm not a huge gourmand guy when it comes to that kind of dna yeah the, this medicinal medicinal smell apple-y i don't really get a whole lot of vanilla but i know vanilla's in there some woods like it just doesn't do it for me it doesn't do it for me and i, I just I'm not trying to hate on it. It's a beautiful fragrance, but it doesn't do it for me. I wouldn't run out and get a bottle of this at all. And it's just so hyped up and so talked about by everybody in Fragcom that it's like, really, like, really do you all think that's that good? I mean, is it me? Am I needing to trade my nose? Do I need to trade my nose? Trade it up and like and get and get better with it? Because Leighton to me, do I need to buy a full size bottle to get the full blast versus a little decant sample? Maybe. But honestly, I've got a, I've got a couple dupes of it. And I'm happy with that. So, Leighton by PDM. I would not personally buy a bottle. All right, guys. So this last one is a sample that I got at the Creed counter in Scottsdale, Arizona, by Nancy White. Go visit her if you're in Scottsdale Quarter, at the Fashion out uh, the Fashion Square Mall at, at the excuse me at the Fashion Square Mall in Scottsdale, Arizona. The Creed counter. Her name is Nancy White. She is incredible. Long story short, she got me this sample right here. Yeah, it's in a Creed bottle, but she got me. It was full when I got it just a couple weeks back. This is none other but Altair, the brand new release. And I will tell you right now, once I was purchasing my fragrance in the last video I just posted about Amouage, you'll hear more about her there. She walked me over to the Parfum de Marley counter and I sprayed the new one on a tester strip, just thinking it was gonna be very same DNA as a lot of these, right? No, I was hit with a massive vanilla and it's a very intricate vanilla. It's like a bourbon vanilla. It's what they, it's really some of the notes, bourbon vanilla. Out of every single PDM that I've ever smelled, Altair is gonna be the number one for me. It's full size bottle worthy, discount or not, full price, 100%. It is beautiful, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's got this like, almost like this powdery, this powdery, almost like irisy vanilla situation going even though there's no iris in this i don't think there's any iris in this it almost gives me that that makeup bag smell my my wife was even like god you smell like vanilla and makeup what is that it smells amazing 
and that was the first day I ever wore it. Yeah, it's, it still has a little bit of that PDM DNA in the middle, but what you smell the most of mm, is that vanilla and bourbon, and I like that. I like that a lot, a lot, a lot enough to buy a full-size bottle. Mmm, mmm, it's beautiful. And the few times that I've worn this, it lasted me all day long, like literally all day long. I loved it a lot. So uh, that is the number one out of these five that we just showed on camera that I would go with. I purchased a full-size bottle of that. The other four, I really could pass on those and not be, not lose sleep. That's my five PDM fragrances I want to talk about today. I want to sniff them on camera, kind of give you a rundown. Are they worth the hype? They're worth the hype if you want to buy into the hype. Let me just say that right now. If you want to buy into the hype, they are worth it. And that goes for any fragrance, for any reason. If you buy into the hype and want to create the hype around a fragrance, you do whatever makes you happy. I'm not saying these are bad fragrances at all. In fact, they're gorgeous. The perfumery is amazing. Their French perfumery is gorgeous. It's subtle, but it's also loud. And that's kind of what a lot of people like about the house. Let me know down below what you think. Do you have any PDM? What's your favorite one? Am I crazy for saying this? Am I wild for that? Either way, appreciate you viewing. Thank you guys so much to the subscribers. We are over 200 subscribers now, and um, I am so grateful for that. In fact, I'm, I'm probably gonna do a giveaway soon. I just feel like I need to give back. So hope you guys are well. Have a great rest of your week. Remember, look good, smell good. Talk to you soon.